Last week, the first custom ROM for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 smartphone was released. That custom ROM is the Pixel Experience ROM. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install that ROM on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 with either the Mojito codename or the Sunny codename. Now before we can begin, we're going to need to have some things set up ahead of time. The big requirement here is you're going to need to have your bootloader unlocked ahead of time. Most people have to wait about seven days before the bootloader is actually unlocked. So be sure to do that ahead of time. Also, we're going to need to download the recovery link as well as the custom ROM link that we're going to be flashing on this device. And typically installing these early custom ROMs on Xiaomi devices requires that you begin with a certain MIUI firmware. So in this video, the required firmware for this Pixel Experience ROM is 12.0.5. So if you have if you do not have 12.0.5 or you do not have the required firmware cuz this firmware will this required firmware will likely change with subsequent updates to Pixel Experience as new versions of MIUI come out there are going to be new versions of Pixel Experience that come out which are based on the newer versions of MIUI so be sure to read the official original XDA thread, which I'll be linking in the video description, as well as the install link, because that's going to tell you what which version of MIUI is the required firmware to begin with before we start flashing recoveries and custom ROMs. And this is likely going to change in the future whenever we get an official version of TWRP and whenever we get some custom ROMs that are based on AOSP. But as of right now, to install this early build of Pixel Experience on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10, you're going to need to start on the required firmware. So with that done, we're also going to need to download the recovery image file that we need to install on our phone and we need to download the actual Pixel Experience custom ROM link. I'll be including download links to both of those in the video description as well. And we're gonna need to put those files in our ADB and Fastboot Tools folder. So if you haven't already installed ADB and Fastboot Tools, again, be sure to do that. I'll be including installation tutorials for that in the video description. After you have all the other requirements done, we can then power off the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 so that we can boot the phone into fastboot mode in order to complete the first step, which is flashing the AOSP recovery image on our device. Again, if you're not familiar with how to boot into fastboot mode, look in the video description. I have the links for all of that. Now that our Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 is in fastboot mode, I have connected it to our PC with a USB cable. I'm going with a PowerShell in this instance, but we can just open up a terminal, PowerShell, or a command prompt in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. And that's also in the same folder as our recovery and custom ROM file. If you wanna make sure everything's ready to go before we begin anything, we can type out the command fa Fastboot space devices Make sure that you get a device listed here. 
as well as the word term fast boot. Nothing like unrecognized or unauthorized, anything like that. Make sure that you're getting your device registered whenever you execute the command fast boot space devices. Then we're going to type out the command fast boot space flash space boot and then the name of the image file for the recovery that we just downloaded. We can rename this file to something easier to type out if we want. But as of right now, this is the file name. I just started typing out the name. So you can see here, I just started typing out the name of the file and then I pressed the tab button to autocomplete. That should work in terminal, PowerShell, or command prompt. Again, we're just gonna make sure that this file name matches the recovery image that we downloaded. So the command is fastboot space flash space boot space and then that file name. We're going to press enter on the keyboard and we're going to wait for fastboot to not only send that image to a particular partition but to also write the contents of that image to that particular partition. We should get an OK message on both of those. And after that, it's going to bring us back into the command prompt we were at before. After we have gotten both of those OK messages, we're then going to force the phone to reboot by pressing and holding the power button. And once we see that phone reboot, we're going to instantly begin booting into recovery mode by switching the hardware combination and pressing the power and the volume up buttons. We're going to continue holding those two buttons. While the phone boots into recovery mode. And if you see that screen that we were at, and then it, re it flashes because it reboots again, that's likely just because you let go of the volume button before you let go of the power button and it caused the phone to reboot that's fine just continue holding those two buttons during that reboot you can see it happened to me right then just keep going with it and it will reboot again and send you into that recovery that we just installed when we first boot into Pixel Experience, we are going to have to perform a factory data reset. So we can tap that option and then again tap the format data slash factory reset option. And then lastly, we need to confirm. We need to format data. And yes, this is required. And if you skip this step, you are going to get an error when you try to ADB sideload the ROM. So after we have formatted data and done our factory reset, we can tap the back button to go back to the main screen. And then we're going to select the apply update option and then apply from ADB. This is going to put our phone into ADB sideload mode. Make sure you have a USB cable connected to the PC. And now we're going to go back to the PC in that same PowerShell to actually flash the ROM this time. So since our phone is in ADB sideload mode, we're going to type out ADB space sideload space and then whatever the name of that ROM file we downloaded. If you renamed it, you can type out what whatever the new name is. But since I kept it the same, I'm just going to begin typing out the name of the file and then I'm going to press the tab button to autocomplete since it's selecting the image file on the first autocomplete tab I'm going to press tab again 
so that it auto completes the name for the zip file. So the command we type out should be adb space sideload space the file name for the ROM that we downloaded that ends in zip. Once we have all that typed out, we're just going to press enter on the keyboard. So not only, again, just like before, it's going to send that file to the phone over the USB cable, but it also needs to write that file. So on our phone, we're going to be told we're, at, we're in step one of two. And right now the phone is receiving this, or the phone is receiving this file. So we're just going to wait patiently. Don't mess with the USB cable or the phone. Try to maintain a stable connection. It's fairly common for this percentage counter to stop out at 47% because that's usually when step one of two completes. But sometimes it does vary. So now our phone has switched over into step two of two. And while we have got a failed command right here, or a failed message right here, that's, it's okay. As long as we reach that 47% level, and as long as we got to step two of two on the phone without an error displayed on the phone. Once we've reached that 47%, we have unplugged our USB cable. You can see we went from step one of two to step two of two. No errors listed on the phone. Should be good to go. So we're just going to tap the back button up at the top left corner to go back to the recovery main menu. And then from here, we're going to tap the reboot system now option. going to cause our Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 smartphone to reboot into 
the Pixel Experience custom ROM for the first time. Now since we just did a factory data reset, this first boot into Android is likely going to take a little bit longer than normal. We're just going to be patient while it takes us to the Android activation screen. You can see we already have a new boot animation logo. Really interested to try this ROM out. I'm really surprised at how quickly this ROM was released. That it was released as an official build so quickly as well. Even without a build of TWRP. There's a lot of surprises that have gone into this ROM. And I'm very curious to try it out. So we're just going to skip through this activation. So if you're not familiar with the Pixel Experience custom ROM, it's a ROM from a team of developers who are trying to mimic the Google Pixel software experience as close as possible to as many different devices as they can get to. So you can see we are on this specific build of Pixel Experience. I've chosen to download the Plus version of this ROM. Whenever I give you the download link in the video description, you're going to be given the option to download either the regular version or the Plus version that's common for the Pixel Experience ROM. I'll also be including a link that tells you the differences between those two. So again, for anybody who's not familiar with this ROM, there's a lot of things to learn. It's certainly a ROM that I enjoy a lot better than MIUI. So that is how to install the Google Pixel Experience ROM on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 smartphone.